Now it's time to separate the winners from the losers. We've got our campaign launched, and by the way, I am going to have some AdWords tips here later on, but for those of you that are already familiar with AdWords, I just want to, you know, you're going to run out there and probably just try to launch a campaign and start sending traffic. So I want to tell you how to quickly find out which campaigns are going to be your winners and which ones are going to be your losers, because that's what I'm all about. The objective here at this phase is to spend as little time as possible picking the products, the campaigns that I'm going to go ahead and push and deciding which ones I'm going to pull out. The reason you want to do this very quickly is because, and by the way, I'm very systematic with this. It's all about numbers. I might squeeze in a little bit of gut feeling every once in a while, but typically it's pretty cut and dry. What you don't want to do is get married to a particular product where you feel like you're just in love with it. And even though it's not working out, you know, you're going to tough it out. That's great to do in marriage. That's what you should do, but not in marketing. Okay? Spend as little time as possible picking the winners from the losers. What we're going to do is budget $500 per day. If you don't have $500 a day, that's fine. Go to like 250 if you want. But you want to you want to generate a lot of clicks. You want to get a lot of traffic. You're probably not going to spend, depending on the niche, though, you're probably not going to spend that $500 a day. If you do your AdWords campaigns right, then all we're looking for is 500 clicks a day. So if you do your AdWords campaigns right, you should not hit that $500 a day budget. Okay, but just expect to spend it, in other words. That way, if you do, you know, it's not going to come as a total shock. How to disqualify. These are the pointers. These are the things that I want you to look at. If the campaign meets, meets these qualifications, there's no questions asked. You just blow it away. Okay. If you reached your budget and there aren't any sales, <laughs> that's a no-brainer, right? If you reached your budget, $500 a day, and you didn't make a single sale, then forget about it. Don't waste your time. Do not try to work the system. There are situations where we do want to work it. You know, if it's real close, we want to think maybe, you know, step back. Maybe there's something I could do a little bit better. But if there's no sales after you reach that budget, $500 a day, forget it. If you've got over 500 clicks and the conversion is less than 0.25%, that's a quarter, a quarter percent. That would mean, now there is one exception to the rule that I'll mention in just a minute. That would mean, Let's say, for example, you're getting 35 cent clicks. Okay, so if you get 35 cent clicks and you got 500 clicks, that's going to cost you $175, right? If, in other words, the commission on that product is less than $43.75, then we're going to just blow it away. The reason for this is out of that 500 clicks, with a quarter percent commission, quarter percent uh, percentage, sorry, conversion, you're looking at making just a little over one sale. Now, if it's a, you know, if it's a $45, you know, commission, let's just say, that means you're going to, at 35 cents a click, you're going to spend $175 and you're going to get a $35 commission. Not worth it. Now, the exception to the rule here is if it's an extremely high dollar product, which there are not a lot of those on ClickBank. But if it's a very high dollar product that is yielding an enormous commission, you know, if it's like a a thousand dollar product and they're giving you half, then that's a totally different story. But for the most part, this is the rule. 500 clicks or more and conversion is less than a quarter percent. And also, if after 500 clicks, you have spent more than four times the sales amount. Okay, and I'm going to try real quick to do a little do a little drawing for you, an illustration, but I'm doing this with the mouse. So let's say after 500 clicks, actually, you know what would be even better? Let's do the calculator. How about that? Now, here's the way we're going to figure this out, okay? Let's say we're dealing with a $35 commission, okay? 
So we've got a $35 commission at, let's say, $0.35 cents a click. I'm just going to do an average. Times 500 clicks. That's $175 in ad spend. And we're going to make a $35 commission. I'm just going off of one sale for those 500 clicks. This is going to be like extreme bad performing, okay? So we've got $175. I'm going to try to remember that here. Let's do the memory thing. So we've got a $35 commission times four, and that's $140. Okay, so in this scenario, because we have spent $175, that is greater than four times the sales, which this is four times the sales is $140. So since that is greater... We're going to just pull out of that scenario, forget it, scrap it, move on to something else. Now, if it was a $50 commission, that would be a different scenario. Okay, So if it's a $50 commission times four, that would give us up to 200. That's a totally different scenario. So you got to run the numbers here every single time. Also, maybe we're getting 22 cents a click times 500. Okay, so now we're spending $110 in ad spend. If we're making that $35 times 4, that puts us in the, uh, you know, the acceptable range as well, right? So what you got to do is after 500 clicks, see what your sales are and see how much you have spent and four times the sale. Now, I know what you're saying. It's like I didn't make any money, and you're still saying, you know, I mean, in other words, it really takes a bad, bad performing product or campaign to totally disqualify right out of the gate, okay? And that means 500 clicks, and what you spent on those clicks is greater than four times the amount of your commissions, okay? Now, next... Promising products. We just talked about totally disqualifying products. Not going to fool with those at all. But these are products that look really good. In other words, if you see this, then you're definitely going to go ahead and go for it. If conversion is over 0.5%, if conversion's over one half of a percent, that means after. 200 visits, 200 clicks. If you've got over one sale, good deal. Okay, go with it. If the sales is greater than or equal to 50% of your ad spend. Let's figure this one out as well. So we have got at our 35 cent example, 35 cents times 500 clicks. $175. We're going to divide that by 2. 87.50. So if we have made greater than or equal to 87.50, then we're good with this product. Even though we're not making we're not clearing a profit yet. We're not there yet, but this shows that it's a very promising product, something that we're going to go ahead and stick it out. And what we're going to do is optimize things. Try to get it to perform a little bit better. Now here is the gray area. This is possible products. You're not going to disqualify them right away, but you're going to give them kind of like a second chance. Okay. With these, if the conversion is greater than 0.25%, if sales is equal to or greater than one quarter of your ad spend, and what I'm doing is actually taking both of these factors together. In other words, if your conversion is greater than 0.25% and the sales is equal to or greater than a quarter of the ad spend, we're going to go back and optimize things, kind of give it a reevaluation, and give it another 500 clicks just to give it a chance, okay? Because it, it might very well pan out. And again, the goal here is to quickly find out if the product's going to pan out or not, find out if you're compatible, if the campaign is successful. Now, what you're going to find out is that some products are going to, like, totally bomb, and it's going to be obvious that they're just not going to work. Some 
are going to get actually a lot better than our promising products evaluation. They're going to actually perform really well. I remember the very first product that I started to promote, I was actually, uh, and this was a, it was a downloadable training, a video training series, and I was actually able to break even with that product the first week, right from the get-go, right? All that was left to do was to optimize it. When I got to the point where I was making twice what I spent on ad spend, I was tickled. Okay, but you can still, you know, go further than that. Some products, again, do not do that well. Uh, believe me, they don't do that well, and you're just throwing away money. I've done some similar things. I did everything exactly the same way, uh, launched the campaign, and boom. But I know by 500 clicks, I know what's going to happen. And then what we do with the winners, the ones that are working out, is we scale them up and we make – uh, you know, a better investment in those because the more you spend on those, the more money you're going to make. And we'll talk about that in the next video.